Hi everyone, it's Christy Wolber here uh, with the fifth video from the series uh, Kit Herring and Optical Illusions. Uh, this is the project that I did, a little example of it, and I think it's uh, simpler when it comes to uh, the drawing itself, it's a little bit more simple than the other ones I did. Uh, but the shading is uh, very time consuming and uh, I wouldn't say complicated. I don't think it's complicated, but you'll decide for yourself when you start doing it. Okay, so let's do first our 8x8 eight eight square. This angle is very helpful. Okay, so that's my workspace. And uh, like most of the designs that I'm showing you, uh, we're going to start from the very center here. We're going to have one dotted line going all the way down. And that's how we're going to start the whole thing. So first of all, I will make one of these I kind of call it the the bamboo shoots design because they very much remind me of bamboo shoots. So that's the very center one. And after that, I'm going to start building the same thing on both sides. Down here. And I'll try all these spaces to be pretty much the same. But like with all the other projects that I'm showing you, I'm working without rulers inside the, the, the design, so they're not going to be perfect. Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dotted lines, and that, that's going to be the center lane, let's say, here. And after that, I'll have some space, and I'll start doing the other ones, the side ones, trying to do the very same spacing. Okay, here I'm gonna pretty much have the same empty space. And Turn my page. Okay, so that's pretty much it when it comes to the beginning. And after that, I will have some other uh, helping lines here. So Pretty much these spaces should be the same. So I'll start from right here. And I'll space it. Kind of evenly. Okay, so now it all is gone. It's all gonna start making sense. So here I have a lot more of these lines, but that's fine too. Every design is slightly different. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna start with this very main uh, line. Let's darken it up a little bit. Okay, 
maybe straighten it up a little bit too. So what's going to happen here, as soon as you have this uh, space here, I'm going to make this area darker, this area darker, this area darker. That's how it's going to all go. So on this line, I have it dark on here, on this line right here. And now, on each one of these lines, we're going to go with little triangles going up and down. I'm going to focus on this middle, um, let's call it bamboo shoot. I'm not going to go to the other ones because we don't know we're not going to have too much time. But they're built the exact same way. So now I'm going to darken these lines. my extra paper because I want, don't want to make too many messy spots on the rest of the paper. Okay, so now we're done with this part. We're going to erase all these extra lines. Same here, we don't need them. Okay, and now we're going to start shading. That's the big challenge here, the shading. So how we are going to be shading this whole thing? The idea is that this line separates the lighter from the darker area so again our light is going to come from here so we're going to start darkening from here but in each one of these spaces we're going to have gradation going from dark to light but it's not going to be pure light down here it's going to be kind of medium gray to pretty dark gray here we're going to do the same, but very, very light. That's our light side, so we're not going to go too dark here. And here, the darkest area actually in the entire project, the darkest spaces are going to be these little triangles on the left side. And to make sure that they're really, really, really dark, I'm going to even use my, that my black pencil, uh, colored pencil. So I make sure that they're super, super dark. Here, this space is going to be pretty dark because the light doesn't go there. But they're not going to be as dark as the left little triangle. And we're going to leave this whole space light. So that's how the whole thing is going to be done. light 
lighter grays here going down really really dark grays on this side getting lighter further down we go like always with my shading I'm going in all different directions here is my super dark triangle be pretty pretty dark right here we start with very very dark gray right here very very dark clean up a little bit right here What you can do too is clean up a little bit on the left side right here that's how this edge is gonna look really nice and sharp I'll focus on this upper area I'll try to make one red area maybe up to here shade it and the rest it's all repetition of the same thing so you, you I don't need to do the whole thing obviously look right here It's a lot it takes a lot of precision and gradation is one of the most difficult things to do uh, with drawing and with paint, painting you just have to put a very different pressure on your pencil when you're doing the shading and some people even use different different pencils for gradation Let's say you can use something very soft like 4B or 2B to start up here and further down you go, you can go to F or XB which are um, very hard pencils. HB is kind of the, the very middle uh, but 2H, 4H I, I never work with those pencils because I like soft pencils. I like HB, 2B, 4B. That's where I I feel comfortable working. H is way too way too hard for me. Um, and they don't give you this drama they don't give you the darkness so um, they're very pale in a way and that's not what I'm trying to achieve in most of my drawings I don't I don't like pale stuff I like 
bold um, contrast. I like contrast. Again, right here along this line. It should be pretty dark. It's all about control. It's all about controlling how much pressure you put on your pencil. And it, it all gets better with practice. That's one thing for sure I can tell you. More you practice gradation, better you're gonna get. And when you're working on this gradation, you can take a a piece, another piece of paper and make uh, another exercise in gradation with paint. Uh, in my first, in my beginners class, acrylic beginners class, we always start with uh, making a gradation between white, black and a color in between. So you can have 10 or 12 little areas and try to make gradation between black and white or black white and a color in between just to see how far you can go with with the smoothness of of the gradation and that's going to be the last one i'm going to work on it's really shocking how much time something so simple such a simple design but it takes so much time uh, to finish because you have to really control how much pressure you put in each area again needed eraser very very good for this project like with any other project uh, it's the best investment you can make if you're really if you're serious about drawing I'm having this one Kohinoor uh, it's very inexpensive and you can buy it in every single art store That's the last one I'm going to work on and I'm going to show you how I did my little kid herring crocodile. And that's how you build the whole thing. Keep going down to the sides and because I call this project the bamboo forest I decided that I'm gonna use um, this little thing uh, one of Kit Herring's uh, creatures which is some kind of alligator crocodile thingy okay and I don't even know where I put my color pencils sorry about that forgot I put them away I just thought that he will match very well this design and the other in the other projects the color is completely random but because I call this the bamboo forest I kind of purposefully use this kind of lime green I'm using my 
sharpie to outline. darken up a little bit all these areas so it's nice and striking and I really like this guy to be right here but obviously there's nothing realistic about our design so he can go this way or this way or you can place him whatever you want but I really think that's the best place for him okay that's the video for right now and I hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Bye.